G'day there everyone. Okay, so today we're going to talk about some tendinopathies. Now in particular, we're going to talk about an injury to the tendons around the inside of the ankle here. Now we've got three tendons that sit on the inside of the ankle. Co collectively, we can call these tendons the flexor tendons, but in reality, there's three separate tendons here. And you can remember these tendons easily by using the phrase Tom, Dick and Harry. The first tendon that wraps around the ankle here sits closest to this bone here, and it's called tibialis posterior. Now, if I push my hand, my foot into my hand, you can see the tendon popping out just there. Now, this tendon here is responsible for supporting the arch of your foot. It has a very broad finger-like attachment that attaches all the way under the midfoot through here. When it contracts, it pulls the foot this way and it lifts the arch up. Now this tendon is very commonly injured, but you've also got two more tendons here. So often you can have pain here, but there's another tendon just underneath it. And this tendon here is called flexor digitorum longus. And this tendon comes down underneath the foot and attaches to the four lesser toes. It attaches to each of the toes here. Now its job is to flex the toes, but it also turns the foot in and it stops the foot from collapsing. Now the third one is what we call flexor hallucis longus and it sits underneath that one again. So it runs underneath the, on the inside of the ankle around here. So you've got the one, two, three. Now often when you get an injury to this part of the foot, if you Google it, it'll come up with things like tibialis posterior tendinopathy. But in reality, most people actually usually injure the three of these combined because they have similar jobs. The third tendon here called flexor hallucis longus comes down and attaches under the big toe here. So when you injure these tendons, it's usually because your tendons are working overtime trying to support what your foot is doing. And a lot of people that where their feet roll in and the arches collapse, these tendons get strained. And when they become strained, it's like pulling on a torn rock climbing rope. So if you've got a tear in the rock climbing rope and you keep pulling on it, that tear gets bigger and bigger. And that's the same as these. So when you injure them, one of the most important things, the initial steps should be to splint them. Now, today we're gonna to go through a technique on how to splint these tendons. To use, to splint them, we're gonna use the stretchy tape again, the kinesio tape. Now we're gonna take the tape, we're gonna start with the pieces underneath the outside bone here, and we're gonna to measure to above this bone here. Now I'm gonna do it on myself, because once again, we get a lot of people, patients that wanna do it on themselves and don't have a partner to help, and it's very easy. So we grab the tape, pop it underneath the outside of the ankle bone, and grab it and measure to above this ankle bone here. So just above that bone, and we're gonna cut three pieces. So one, now you wanna cut them all very similar. Two, three. Now, we're also gonna do two more pieces. We're gonna put one piece to anchor them down, one here, and I'll just cut that. And this piece is gonna be about two-ish squares wide or about, I'd say, six, seven centimeters. And it's gonna go there. We're gonna do another piece that's gonna go from underneath this bone here, just in front, to the same side on the other side of the foot. And we're gonna cut that piece. Okay, so we've got five pieces all up. So what you wanna do is we're gonna round these edges off. We're going to round the edges off on the other side. Now that makes the tape stick better. And we're gonna do it to all the pieces. Okay, so we've got the five pieces of tape there. Now, if you've got hairy legs, it's better to shave them. If you want it to stick really well, spray your skin with hairspray. Spray where you've got tape on tape, spray the tape with the hairspray as well. It'll make it stick even better. So we're gonna take the first piece, we're gonna about two centimeters from the end, we're gonna peel it off. We're gonna grab this piece and we're gonna pop it underneath 
the outside of the ankle bone here. We're going to hold on to that. We're going to grab it and we're going to pull. I'm going to try and keep my foot in about a 90 degree position. I'm going to fold the tape back till about two centimeters from the end. I'm going to stretch this tape pretty much 100%. I'm going to run it up the inside of my leg there. And we're going to pat that down. Okay, and the last part has no stretch. And what that does is it stops the tape from peeling off. Now we're going to repeat that one more time. We're going to put this on the outside of the ankle again. And we're going to just roughly put it 50% overlapping the other piece towards the back of the ankle. We're going to grab that piece of tape. We're going to pull and we're going to stretch it 100% again, all the way around, overlapping the other piece, but it's going to go to the back. Now the last part, once again, has no stretch. Okay, so you pat that down. Now we're going to do another piece, pretty much the same, it's just going to be in a different orientation. So we're going to start on the outside. So this time we're going to go a little bit further forwards. Okay, now about two centimeters from the end once again, hold the tape, pull, but this time, trying to keep your foot in roughly 90 degrees, we're gonna bring the piece of tape around to the other side of the leg. So it's gonna come just in front, and we're gonna pat the last part down without any stretch, okay? So these three pieces are basically replicating what these tendons do. So they're gonna to help to stop those tendons from being pulled and overstretched. Now we need to lock them down. So we're gonna grab the shorter piece, get the piece of tape, stretch it 100%, and we're gonna pop that straight over the top of these two pieces and pat it down. And then we're gonna get the final piece about two centimeters from the end. We're gonna tear it. You're gonna pop it just in front of the outside pieces of tape, no stretch, grab, pull, and we're gonna stretch that all the way around to the other side. And once again, the last part has no stretch to it. We're just gonna pat that down. Okay. And what that's gonna do is lock them, lock them down so they don't pop out. And it's also gonna to help to control the joints in the back of the foot. Now, the, these tendons, the muscles for these tendons reside deep inside the calf. And there's actually three separate muscles, but all of them work together to help stabilize this arch of the foot, the rear foot complex, and stop them from rolling and collapsing inwards. Give that a go to splint and rest them in the initial stages of the injury. If you've got this injury and you begin loading it too soon, you're not going to heal. The important thing is to compress, splint, and begin loading it as the healing occurs. Give that a go.